Hey guys, what is up? Davis here, and today I'm showing you guys how to use jrpc.ini, and I'm also going to show you guys how to set up um, the blue notifications on your console, on your RGH or JTAG console. So, um, I'm going to be using Neighborhood for this tutorial, and um, I know I had a video how to use this, the jrpc.ini, and I didn't explain it very good. It's kind of hard to explain, actually, but basically you have jrpc.ini and then you have jrpc which jrpc is going to be set as a plugin on dash launch and then when your console boots up it's also it's going to load or it's actually going to pull from this file right here and this file is actually where you set your other plugins that you um, that you can't set in dash launch so like you know I, I already have um, I already have it noted where to put your GTA 5 menu, where to put your COD Ghost menu, and then where to put your Black Ops 2 bypass. If you have those, I mean, if you don't, if you don't even play GTA, don't even worry about it. Um, right now, Inferno I think has a bypass for Black Ops 2, so you don't even need a bypass. Uh, if you don't play COD Ghost, and don't even worry about that, you know. Um, this is basically already set up the way you need it, so. You know, you got notify.xex, which is your blue notifications for your RG8. So, um, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna be do. I'm gonna do a GTA 5 menu first on this, just so you guys can understand it. And so, I'm gonna open this back up. And see over here, we got our purge menu which is GTA 5 menu it doesn't matter which menu you have but um you're gonna copy this name it's gonna be the whole thing and you're gonna paste it right here and make sure you get the dot xex because if you don't put the dot xex then it's not gonna load and then it's basically pointless and it's a lot of time wasted so um then you're just gonna save it and but um if you guys like basically if you have another plugin say something random um like I don't really know what to put in here but say if you had like this and it was something different then just type in the name right here and then put .xex and then there you go you know and save it but I'm only doing the purge menu which is GTA 5 menu because I know a lot of you guys play GTA 5 so after you put your purge men your GTA 5 menu name in there you're gonna save it and then you're gonna open up neighborhood which I need to open Whatever it decides to open. So, all right, we got JTAG, and how do you add your console? Is you gotta add this, and then you type in JTAG, or you can go to XX menu, click um, click LB, I think, and then at the bottom, it's gonna show you your IP, or you could get it from Freestyle Dash. But um, basically, we're gonna click JTAG, then Retail Hard Drive, and as you can see, we got all of our files in here. Um, if you do not have your purge menu on the desktop that's fine because we're going to need to move the purge we're going to need to move those .xex files that you're adding into jrpc.ini onto the root of our hard drive so you guys cannot forget that I'm, I'm trying to explain the best I can so don't shoot me but um, we got the, the purge menu already on here so you basically would move it and then it's going to be there and same for any other .xex files that you added into jrpc.ini. So now after we got everything saved into jrpc.ini, we're gonna move all these files right here, and they're gonna we're gonna drag it, and we're gonna drop it in here, which I already have done that, so I don't need to do it again. And then we're gonna go in there, the blue notification, we're gonna drag and drop this file in here as well. And I've already done that, so I don't need to do that again. So um 
the last thing I want to tell you, um, the launch, this is my launch I and I, I'm a personal one, that I use on all my consoles. It is, these are the, this is what the plugins are going to be set as on dash launch. So, you know, once again, when you load your console, it's going to, it's going to load JRPC and then it's, JRPC is going to pull this file and it's going to load all of your other plugins that you added in there and add it onto your hard drive, if that makes sense. So, hopefully I explained it pretty good this time. Um, but I'm going to show you guys my RGH console now. I'm actually playing online. Um, let me invite somebody to the party just so I can show you guys what the blue notifications will look like. After you have done all, this stu all the steps that I just showed you, you're going to restart your console. And then, you know, it's going to tell you all of your stuff. And you should have blue notifications now. So if we invite my friend, we should have blue notifications. And yes, we do. So. You guys totally didn't see that because my thing's delayed. So let me do that again. As you can see, we got blue notifications now, guys. So, um, and also your if you have a GTA 5 purge menu or something like that, GTA 5 menu, it's also going to load. So, and any other thing you put in there. So, um, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I explained it pretty good. If not, then just kill me now. So, see you guys later. Peace out.